So Bliss has WWE fans speculating. In this video, I'm going to tell you why they're speculating and how you should take it. Because Alexa Bliss has been away from WWE television for a very important reason. But oh, how things have changed since the last time we've seen her. The important reason is because she became a mother. One of the greatest gifts people can take in life. As a father myself... It's an amazing experience, but it is a roller coaster of an experience. Alexa Bliss had a very interesting WWE career. I said had. Now, she has said multiple times on social media that she intends to return to WWE. In this latest teaser, ooh, I think we're getting a little bit closer to that. More on that in a minute. Last time we saw Alexa Bliss on WWE television was at the Royal Rumble in 2023. She had lost in a championship match, but it was after weeks and weeks of teases here and there on television in regards to getting back to an alliance, if you will, with Bray Wyatt. Because Uncle Howdy was essentially stalking her. Now, if you recall during the pandemic and late 2020 or so, going into 2021, Alexa Bliss and Bray Wyatt, they had formed an alliance on television, and this really came about during Bray Wyatt's feud with Randy Orton that lasted months. Have y'all seen Bray Wyatt's documentary on Peacock? It's very, very good. It's very sad at the end, but it's a very good documentary, one of their better documentaries, and in that, they had Bray Wyatt talk about how he was not a fan of the how the Fiend character was going, how Vince McMahon was booking it, to the point where they legitimately set the character on fire at the TLC pay-per-view event in December of 2021. Or, excuse me, December of 2020. And so at WrestleMania 2021, WrestleMania 36, if you will, well, they had Alexa Bliss turn on Bray Wyatt. Now, Royal Rumble, we see... Bray Wyatt, we see Uncle Howdy, and they made it very clear that they were going after Alexa Bliss. Now, original plans called for Bray Wyatt to have Alexa Bliss come to his aid and have a little mini faction, if you will, with Uncle Howdy. Alexa, uh, Alexa was going to take time off after that event. She did so. She ended up becoming pregnant, and of course, we know that Bray Wyatt passed away uh, in twenty. 23. Very, very sad. Now look, Bray Wyatt, Alexa Bliss, there's been a lot of chatter about Alexa Bliss's future with WWE, and she tweeted out something very, very interesting, because we've heard the talk from her, hey, I'm coming back, hey, I'm coming back, hey, I'm coming back. When is she just coming back? Well, she took to Twitter on Monday morning, and she wrote, just you wait with a black heart. Now, of course, we know that there is a faction. Spoiler alert. There is a faction that Bo Dallas, Bray Wyatt's brother, Uncle Howdy, if you will, is forming a new faction. We don't know what the name of it is. It could be Wyatt Six. It could be the Fireflies. All right? We, we don't know. We know that the likes of Joe Gacy and Nikki... Cross and Dexter Loomis and Eric Rowan are going to be part of it, according to a recent report by PW Insider. What we do know is Alexa Bliss is not slated to be part of that faction. Is it possible that Alexa Bliss could actually be part of this faction? Could it be possible that WWE is keeping her return under wraps and keeping her out of internal memos. Sure, it is. Do I think that's the case? No, I do not. I think Alexa Bliss is going to come back as her true and tried character that fans know her for. A character in which she had portrayed before being paired with Bray Wyatt the first time and the second time. I think we're going to get that type of Alexa Bliss. My hope is... A few things when Alexa Bliss returns to television. I hope that Alexa Bliss is actually pushed constantly and not this start and stop BS. 
This wasn't just a Vince McMahon thing. This was also a Triple H thing. Can we stop that? That would be awesome. Also, can we do something that we haven't seen in a few years now? Can we have a heel Alexa Bliss? Because let's be real, that's when she's her best. She's a very, very sweet woman. But she is a better heel than a babyface. That's just facts. All of her success has been as a heel. And it's been quite some time since we've seen a heel Alexa Bliss. I think it's time that WWE and Triple H, let's make that happen, right? Now, she was not drafted to Raw. She was not drafted to SmackDown. Hell, she wasn't even drafted to NXT during the draft. Where would I put Alexa Bliss when she returns to television? Oh, well, I would put her on Monday Night Raw. I think SmackDown has a issue where they feel like since SmackDown is on Fox and that that is the A show that you have to have a super, you know, stacked roster. The only problem with that is a lot of people get lost in the shuffle. And then you have Monday Night Raw, which is a freaking three-hour marathon, and the roster's a little bit shallow on star power. And I think in a light of bliss, that's where she was previously. Put her back on Monday Night Raw. Here's the reason I don't think they're going to do her in that faction with Uncle Howdy. I think because she had such a tight relationship with Bray that she only liked doing the supernatural stuff because of Bray. Um, And I think the fact that he is no longer with us, I think she wants it to stay. It was a her and Bray thing, and she doesn't necessarily want to water that down with a her and a Bo Dallas thing, a her and an Uncle Howdy thing. I could be wrong. I, I just, that's my sense with it. Honestly, if she would go down, you could make the case that if she went down to NXT for like a mini run, I think that would also be very, very good for her. And and I get what some people may say, well, why would you send her down to NXT? That's a demotion. Not necessarily. If you look at Becky Lynch, her restart of being the man, the true man, in 2023 was after she went to NXT and she did a feud with Tiffany Stratton and she actually won the NXT women's title. Before then, she had returned to the man gimmick, but she wasn't fully there yet. The fans just didn't buy into it until she went down there and she really started doing some really good promo work and her career took off once again to superstardom, right? There's levels to this game, including Becky Lynch, right? So I think that would benefit Alexa Bliss here. We'll see. We'll see what they end up doing. But either way, I'm looking forward to seeing Alexa Bliss back on WWE 